Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 17. Welcome to AC Milan's potential squad for the upcoming 2017 to the 2018 season. So guys, if you still are enjoying these potential squad videos and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below what other teams you would like me to do. We've already done Liverpool, Manchester United, uh, Real Madrid, and of course Manchester City. So we're going to be doing AC Milan here today. We're going to be checking out the new players in the FIFA 17 AC Milan kit and they look absolutely fantastic. We've also got two matches in today's episode testing out the squad. Uh, we have a match against Inter Milan at the San Siro, obviously a huge rivalry, the Milan derby, and then we face Juventus. So, we're going to be playing a 4-3-3 first up here today. Now, this squad is made up of realistic transfers, players that have officially signed for AC Milan, players have been rumoured, and players that really would work well with AC Milan system and are a little bit unrealistic. Um, this video is just meant to be a bit of fun, be with a pinch of salt, so let me know um, what other teams you would like me to do and players you would like me to play with. So first up, we have Diego Costa, heavily linked to be leaving Chelsea this season. Apparently, Conte did send him an SMS saying he's out of the plans. He was linked back to Atletico Madrid before the transfer ban. Obviously, he was linked to China as well. The thing is, AC Milan will be a really good career mode to do because they've just been bought by a massive Chinese consortium, so they've brought in a lot of officially signed players. Carlos Baca last season from Sevilla. Gerard De La Feu, heavily rumoured to be joining AC Milan. Didn't have the best loan spell there, but is heavily linked. Uh, Benevent, uh, Beneventura, obviously a, a, part, a, car, a, part, a part of the current AC Milan squad. Chinoglu, Barini, um, obviously heavily linked. Barini officially signed from Sunderland. We've got Ramagnoli, um, uh, Abate on the right back. We've got Musaccio and... Ricardo Rodriguez, who have officially signed Donnarumma in goal. We have Bolotti and uh, Silva. So Musaccio and Silva, Rodrigo have officially signed for AC Milan. But it'll be really cool to see um, Diego Costa up front. I really can't wait. But what a steal Ricardo Rodriguez is. He is phenomenal at set plays and free kicks. I'm blown away as to how Liverpool, Arsenal, maybe even Manchester United to some extent didn't go for him. Like, he's such a good player. Masaccio as well. Obviously, they've spent nearly £100 million, AC Milan, and they're trying to get back to winning ways. And maybe they will if they sign Diego Costa, of course. I'd love to see him at AC Milan. He can sort of play that Zlatan Ibrahimovic role. Ginoglu, one of the players who is probably not so realistic, but he could be joining AC Milan. Here is Diego Costa, the target man for Milan. But it's the rumours sort of go either way for him. He's he's nearly actually tempted to join in January for AC, uh, Atletico Madrid. It just sucks that they got that transfer ban. They're not bringing in Lacazette, and they're also not letting go of uh, Griezmann. Here is Barini, who's... I think he's had, I think he had his medical yesterday. I'm not entirely sure if he's an officially signed player, but by the video... By the, by the time this video goes out, he could very well be. Bolotti, heavily linked to the Premier League. He is a classic target man style footballer, so he's linked to a whole... He's linked to every Premier League club, pretty much especially in the top four, the top teams in that Champions League sort of bracket. But he could stay in Italy, Syria, in AC Milan. But let's test out this squad and have a bit of fun. Let's get stuck into the Milan derby. Man, I love the San Siro Stadium. It looks so good. So let's see who AC Milan are playing. I, I don't even know who the current... Um, manager for AC Milan is, sorry, Inter Milan is now. They did have that new, oh, I can't think of his name. His name is De Boer, I think it was. He signed for Crystal Palace recently. He's the new manager for them. But, uh, yeah, I don't know who the current manager is. Anyway, let's get stuck into them. Costa. Oh, my God. Diego Costa chopped down in the box just before the 14th, holding up the ball X just awesomely. He really, really held it up there. It was cool, calm, and collected, which is you don't see often from Costa. Who is my best free kick take? Oh, it's bloody Ricardo, uh, uh, penalty kick taker. Ricardo Rodriguez, the Swiss steps up, hammers it with his left to the right-hand side, and the first goal here today in AC Milan's potential squad 
is Ricardo Rodriguez. 1-0 against Inter Milan just before the 15th. I told you he's good at set plays and pieces. And a penalty piece there. He makes it 1-0 from a phenomenal day. Diego Costa hold-up play. 84 penalties. What was Diego Costa's? 76 or something? With the chest thump as well. Gerard Delafeu didn't have the best loan spell at AC Milan. But they could make the deal permanent. That was awesome to get Benaventura there. Gerard Delafeu. The former Barcelona and Everton, man. Diego Costa gets his shot on target, but it's denied. Carlos Baca. Facing Benega as well. Baca finds Diego Costa on the head. Just get the shot on target. Ah, oh, fucking Delafeu. Carlos Baca from the throw-in just before the 56th. Finds Ricardo Rodriguez. Just hammering at the back post to Delafeu. Headers it to the ground. It's 2-0 just before the 57th in the in the Milan derby. Costa, Abate and um, oh, Benaventura coming up as well. What a phenomenal piece of play. And it's Ricardo Rodriguez from right back as well. Delafeu hits it to the head. I didn't think they were thinking he was going to rise to the occasion and header it down past Handanovic. 2-0 against Inter Milan. Gerard Delafeu scores his first goal of uh, the video. Awesome stuff. Right. We've got a free kick in a dangerous area just before the uh, 65th. Um, I'm in and I'm going to take uh, yeah, let's let Ricardo take it. 25 yards out. Just trying to get it up and down over the wall. It kind of... Do you see the sway in it? It just didn't get down further enough. Bellotti. Fresh off the bench. Bellotti. Oh, nearly got it in. The target man from uh, Turin. And that's it. The full-time whistle has blown. A Ricardo Rodriguez penalty converted from a very good Diego hold-up piece of play to claim the penalty. And it was a throw-in from Baca to find Ricardo Rodriguez to find Delafeu at the back post. Okay, guys. Welcome to the second match of today's episode against Juventus. It's a huge rivalry in the league, of course. We're facing the old lady here today. I'm going to mix it up and go with my favorite formation, the 4-3-2-1. I prefer it better than the 4-3-3. However, Inter Milan, that's their default formation, so I thought I'd play with them. Let's get stuck into Juventus here today. Welcome back to the San Siro. We still have the home ground. Here's um, Baca, Diego Costa, Delafeu in the AC Milan kit. You never know. It might happen. And I reckon it'll be a really good signing for AC Milan and a great career mode to do. Anyway, let's see who Juventus are fielding here today. They have the kickoff. But let's get have a look uh, before they get underway. A 4, okay, a 3-5-2. Higuain de Bala. Um, Kadira, Musashio, Pjanic, Dani Alves. A very, very strong Juventus squad. Gonzalo Higuain. Pjanic holds up the play. Finds Gonzalo. And he goes. Gonzalo goals. Makes it 1-0 10 minutes in. Not good. Not good whatsoever. What a phenomenal strike from the Argentine. The French-born Argentine. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot he's born in France. It's crazy. But Pjanic found him. What's more insane, as a replacement for Paul Pogba, Pjanic was bought for £30 million pounds from, Euro, um, from uh, Roma. Oh, my God, Costa, get on your feet. He got shrugged off the ball really well. Gerard Delafeu finds Costa. Oh, my God, he's just done him there. Costa with the deflection off Barzagli. 1-0 down. Barini. Costa, ah, oh, the two former Premier League players trying to get back onto it. Ah, Chiellini intercepts. Oh my god, Barini. Barini! He should have just gone all the way. Della Feu puts it wide. Diego Costa now in the second half. Diego finds Barini. Barini! Nearly just dinks the post. It's 1-1. The former Sunderland man, David Moyes, former boy, makes it 1-1 just before the 62nd. 
I think he's got his medical happening either today or the next. It happened yesterday, from what I can remember. It does. Look, he's one of the more likely ones to be joining AC Milan as sort of a more of a squad rotational player. But what a phenomenal strike there to get it past Buffon. Danny Alves trying to get his foot up and over it, but it's 1-1 against the old lady here today against Juventus. Barini back at it again. Finds Delefeu. Oh my god, Costa gets his shot blocked. Benaventura, his shot blocked as well. And Benucci. Man, what a deflection. Musaccio. Oh, not, not too bad. Time. It was just a little bit missed time. Yeah, we should have been a lot harder. Oh no, Mandzukic. No, no, no. Higuain. Oh, Asamoa. I think he's from Ghana, anyway. Makes it 2-1 just before the 82nd. Man, one step forward, two steps back is sort of the motto for this match. They're really stretching the play against us. We're going for that sort of Christmas tree formation. It's not doing too bad against Milan, but when they really push forward, yeah, it's going to be close. Bolotti, fresh off the bench. Bolotti, Bolotti makes it 2-2 just before the 89th. And I think he's just brought back the draw here today. Man, Barini and Bolotti picking up the goals. BB, <laughs> the big bananas, make it 2-2. That's the only thing I think of when I see BB, B1 and B2. Here we go, Diego Costa, a nice couple of 1-2 passes. What a strike from the target man. I'm playing him on that left-hand side for this match because we've already got Diego Costa, but he's got a little bit of pace about him. He's not the fastest man, but Ricardo Rodriguez behind him is doing most of the work. Okay, so a penalty shootout will decide. Now, because Ricardo Rodriguez scored a penalty in the last match, I thought I'd go straight down the middle. It's 1-0. Donnarumma against Marquisio. Marquisio, what's he going to do? He sprayed it to the right. How the hell has he missed that? Bolotti stepping up. Can he go two for two in putting the ball into the back of the net? He puts it to the left of side there. It's 2-0. Mandzukic playing as a right midfielder for Maximilio Allegri's squad nowadays. Not sort of that target man. Oh my god. By the smallest of margins... They've hit the post and the crossbar. That was a cheeky chip there. Costa, going to try and get a bit of a run up here. Just sort of mix things up a bit. He's going to put it to the right-hand side there. Costa, he thought he was going straight down the middle. That's 3-0. They have to score here, Juventus, to sort of get back into it. Bonucci steps up against Donnarumma. Oh, he went the right way, Donnarumma, but it wasn't to be. Koziki Honda, fresh off the bench. I love Koziki in career mode. Not the best in real life, but he saved the points there. Koziki Honda, the Japanese man, makes it or wins it on penalties. What a phenomenal performance. We didn't give up. We were relentless and ungiving, and ultimately, because of it, we were victorious. Guys, AC Milan, hopefully... We can win more like this this season in real life. Man, what a goal from Honda to fire it past Buffon. And he's ecstatic. Why does Donnarumma look like the Flash? He's frozen in the background there. <laughs> anyway, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below what... Um, official, sorry, not official, uh, potential player squads you would like me to do in the future with officially signed players, with rumoured players. Um, yeah, if you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, perhaps some PSN and Xbox codes, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Patreon and Steam group there as well. Come and join the community on Steam. My social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. Um, click the bell as well as long as subscribing to get notified me with my to get notified with my videos be a part of the notification squad my name is Ben Simsy stay tuned for more videos goodbye Mares whips it into the box Royce that is just ridiculous with the layup Marco Royce